New tonight, another group is speaking out about its inclusion in a racist cartoon used to train San Diego police. And Team 10 investigator Melissa Masiha broke this story today. And tonight she has the lawsuit and the fresh round of criticism the cartoon has sparked. This story is getting a lot of attention online. The lawsuit said the cartoon was shown to classes full of sergeants and lieutenants. This is a racist cartoon at the center of a lawsuit against the city of San Diego. Sergeant Arthur Scott, a 10 year veteran of the San Diego Police Department, is the one suing. In the lawsuit, Scott said this cartoon from the early 1900s was used to reference Officer Frank McCarter, the first black San Diego police officer, during a training session August of last year. The NAACP said the racist image should be shown in the story so people can see what happened in the training class. The cartoon shows McCarter as a monkey. If it's okay to do that for training officers, uh, we can't possibly be moving forward. The cartoon also shows derogatory comments geared toward Asians. I'm surprised that the police department did not take action sooner. We have to be more mindful in terms of implementing cultural sensitivity and um, you know, awareness into the training for all um, government officials. The lawsuit says when Scott complained about it, he was transferred out of the Southeastern Division, something he did not want. Scott has spoken out before. The lawsuit said in 2011 he complained about racist images of President Barack Obama in some officers lockers. A lieutenant said he was being hypersensitive. Obviously the chiefs here don't particularly appreciate someone's right to speak out against racism. It's not the first time the department was accused of racism. Last year, sources said officers complained because there were, quote, too many black faces on a mural inside San Diego's Southeastern Division station. At that time, three officers talked to Team 10 anonymously for fear of retaliation. Melissa Masiha, Team 10. And Chief Shelley Zimmerman released a statement to Team 10 saying that they will fully cooperate with any and all investigations into what happened.